uh, this is where I grew up, um, beach down the road, so I've always been blessed with um, proximity to the beach, something I've always loved getting down to. Um, lucky enough to have uh, the sister here at the moment, uh, as her and her husband build their, their new house, so it's, uh, it's nice to come back and have them greet me when I got home today. F the family are back here, all the family are back here, so all my mates and that sort of thing. I'll, uh, I'll have a couple of friends come over tonight for a bit of a feed that we do when I come back, so yeah, it's good to see them. I certainly miss the weather, the, um, the cold, especially at the moment in Melbourne, um, took a little bit to get used to. I didn't actually realise I'd been picked up. I got, a, I got a text from my uncle saying congratulations and I sort of said, you know, what for? Um, and he said, you've been picked up by Carlton and then um, I had Brett Ratton on the phone about five minutes later, so it all happened pretty quickly. And I was on, I was on a um, plane trip the next morning, so my favourite memory um, as a junior footballer would probably be the Melbourne trip I did in 2003. We went over, we actually went over to Melbourne, played a game over there, did a little ski trip, um, and that was, you know, it was a lot of fun. That was something that the Korean Junior Footy Club's been doing for a number of years. Um, and I actually was, I've actually taken a couple of those um, those teams and. Uh, even last week showed, showed that team they were on the same trip. Um, you know, 12 years later, showed them through the Carlton rooms and had a bit of a chat to them about, you know, obviously my journey and, and how I got to how I got to Carlton and that sort of thing. So that was pretty special being able to do that and you know, talk to kids in the same position I was all those years ago. Obviously, the mother that uh, has raised me and um, you know, the big sister as well. It's always been there um, from. Yeah, driving me to school when I could be bothered riding my bike and um, you know warming me up before footy games, throwing me the ball in the in the cor in the uh, in the hallway up the top and kicking the ball out the front of me. So you know they've, they've been everything for me growing up. For him, it was a dream come true. For all of us, I guess it was a dream come true. But him leaving to go to Melbourne probably was hard. I think, oh, when's he coming home? And then we all, yeah. Count down the days. I think in a way because he does obviously play football interstate, our lives are, revolve a bit around footy sometimes. You know, it's sort of if you're going out to an event, in a way it's sort of, oh, it might be half an hour late because it's the only chance we get to see him every week. Um, I don't miss a game. Try not to miss a game. Yeah. We just support him and we do the best we can to support him, whatever he wants. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit scary for some of the injuries, I must admit that. Carlton defender Simon White has a fractured vertebra in his neck, suffered it in a VFL game at the weekend. Being just on the other side of the country to get a call, a mum had just broken my neck and then, oh you have not, I went, yeah. And then the doctors called, so I thought, well this must be a bit serious. But Simon always says, mum, I'll be okay, I'll be okay. I've grown, grown up uh, with a very hard working mother and I think that's instilled, you know, quite a, uh, quite a good concept of what it what it's taken for me to get to the next level and you know get to where I am at the moment so oh definitely family I think you know that's that's probably the most important thing